maybe you're alone all week and you're struggling in, with doubt in the faith. You show up at the assembly, you look around, you see other people singing the same songs of praise that you're singing and your heart is faith, uh, uh, strengthened by that. Maybe you're kind of pulled and grown anxious all week by the, the news cycles that you're seeing, by the politics and the, the controversies of this world, and you think, oh my gosh, this is the most important thing. We got, we got to get involved. We got to do something. America's going down, right? But then you show up in the sermon, you listen to the preacher, he tells you that Jesus is king and that Jesus wins and that one day his saints will be vindicated even as he is vindicated. And your heart starts to settle down and rest on these gospel truths. And again, you, you, you look around and you hear other people saying, Amen, that's right. And I hear them respond to him preaching those gospel words. And again, my faith is heartened and enlivened by the presence of people around me. Maybe I've been hiding sin or you've been hiding sin all week. And then that older couple invites you over for lunch. And they kind of lean in and they say, How are you doing? Not really. How are you doing? And that little thing that you were tempted to keep in the dark, maybe, it was, maybe it's loneliness, maybe it's a sin. In that moment, you're, okay, yeah, I, I will share this. And they can reach out to you and they can talk you through it. Okay, that, these are the things that happen in the gathering. I understand why virtual church is attractive, right? Gathering with other believers is messy, Loving other people, getting involved in their lives is messy. But you know what? So is love. Love is messy. You know what else? The gospel. The gospel is messy. It means loving sinners, people like you and me. So all the inconveniences, all the messiness of the actual church that we receive when we gather together, that we, we can avoid through virtual church. No, those are the very things that God means to grow us and conform us to his own loving image in the display of the gospel.